Thank you for electing me as your president. Obviously, as an elected official and public servant, I now work for the American people as a group. Now, there are a lot of American people, and they don't all agree with each other, so my job is to decide things for them as a group. If you are one American, I do not work for you personally. I don't have to do anything you say, because I work for a group, not a person. So in that sense, I'm like a ruler. You know, I get to decide everything. You make your decision when you vote. You pick me or the other candidate. You pick one of the two choices. You make that decision, then I make all the other decisions after that. They say that Congress makes the laws, but I make executive orders. <laughs> and people think that's the law, so that's fine. Now, since I work for the American people as a group, can that group tell me what to do? No. You gave up that right when you voted. By voting, you told me I could make all the decisions. So I work for the American people, but not as a worker. I work for them as a leader. So yes, I do whatever I want, and whatever I do, I call that work I'm doing for the American people. Anyway, the American people can't really lead themselves <laughs> because there are always some Americans traveling abroad or busy at their jobs or maybe like going to the bathroom. So it's not possible for that group I work for, the American people, to all act as, say, one unit, all at the same time. That's why they had me, the president, so I can act as a unit. And then what that unit does becomes the law for the group we call the American people. This would be the same for any group I might work for, like if I worked for the American truck drivers. A lot of the time they'd be busy driving trucks. So I would work for them. I would decide all the rules truck drivers have to follow, and I could call that working for them, even though I'm not driving a truck. <laughs> I'm making up rules for truck drivers, so therefore I'm working for them. That's how democracy works. Now, let me be clear on any confusion here. I work for a group. I don't work for individual Americans. But individual Americans do have to follow my rules because they elected me to work for them. They voted as an individual, or say maybe a woman voted for someone else, but other people voted for me, so the woman has to do what I say. Now, some people say that because I am not working for any particular individual, then individuals do not have to follow my rules. No, no, no. The way government works is that we work for you as a group, but we punish you as an individual. Taxes are punishment. Regulations and codes are often punishment. When people are punished by some kind of government power, it helps them remember that they are citizens. We like to say that we make things better for everyone as a group by punishing everyone as individuals.